Hey YouTube, it's Matt with Olympus Reptiles. Before I go get this next clutch, and I promise we won't do just clutch update videos. Unless you like them, they don't do them all the time. All you gotta do is click like and subscribe, and I'll keep doing them. Or if you don't like them, click like and subscribe and say, do something else and I'll do something else. Honestly, I'm gonna where the hell I want, but please click like and subscribe. And then two, Kurt and I were just talking off camera a little bit about how wonderful our government is. Both, you know, there's your local government or your state government, and how we just love that they spend money on stupid crap. Like, really, really, really stupid crap. That's what we do as a government. We spend money on stupid crap. If you check out our Patreon and you join, I promise not to spend the money that you assist us with on stupid crap. I'll spend it on snakes, racks, camera equipment, and lighting so y'all will quit bitching about this being over my head. So check that out, sign up, and I promise to use your money at least more responsibly than the government. Which, honest to God, I could blow it on hookers and blow and still be more responsible than the government. But I won't do that either. Let's show you this clutch. It's one of my favorite clutches of the year, so I can't wait to show this to you. Now, I'll be honest, we're a little bit jumping the gun here because they're not all quite shed out. I pulled their water dish because I'm going to give them a new paper towel, and we are going to set up some of these. But uh, actually, I didn't pull their water dish. This water dish was sitting there and got knocked off when I was looking at them, and this is the water dish that made it look like I pissed my pants. So, yeah. Anyway, let's see what we got here. Now, again, there's still a couple left to shed. That would be... What's the pants? I guess I should tell you the parents, huh? The parents was an inchy ivory pastel, we found out, paired to a pastel freeway. So the first thing we've got, that one hasn't shed yet, and this one hasn't shed yet. So these two are not going to get set up yet. They're going to be left in here to shed, uh, and likely will shed out by tomorrow, I would imagine, the day after. Just a little bit late going. What are we looking at here? Well, an ivory... Probably with some other crap in it. I don't know. We'll have to wait till they're <laughs> growing a little bit and see some colors on them, especially post-shed. Uh, and this is what I think is a Mardi Gras. Now, this is my first time hatching freeways, so do bear with me. We're going to have to watch them grow a little bit. But I think we're looking at a Mardi Gras here and some sort of ivory there. I say some sort of ivory because it's going to be a little bit hard to tell if inches in there, pastels in there, or super pastels in there. I do not think this has super pastel. It's got pattern on its head. Uh, so I do think this is probably got a little bit on the... The lesser number of genes in there for an ivory. So I wanted to show you those two first since they have not shed. Now, I already sexed these, and this is the clutch that is going to go male, 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 male. I want to say we had two females, and they were both the ivories. The rest of them, uh, we had four males. All the freeways are male. Total bummer on that, but still, it is what it is. So the next thing I want to show you is we'll go ahead and pull out these two together. Now these are some shed out ivories, but as you can see, there is differences in them. That's how we know there's some genetic stuff going on. Look at the heads. So there's a pretty good difference on the amount of parent pattern in the heads. And then look at the back on this one. You can see all that yellow coming through. This is what I believe will be at least an inchy ivory. Uh, and this one, it's hard to say for sure, but we'll have to kind of just see. This would probably be let go as an ivory plus other things possibly being there, but I think this will have inchy in it. Um, I'll check these. I'll see which ones these are. Hey, can I, can I peek under the hood? See, that one's a male. This is probably my favorite of the ivories, too. I just really like how much pattern and stuff is on there. You know, I mean, there's a million ways to make a white snake, so you can make a white snake a little different. It's kind of neat. Male, male. So again... <laughs> Two of these ivories are male, so I forgot. We may only have one female, and I think it's this one here, which we're due for. We're due for a clutch that's got, you know, not many females in it, because we have been killing it on our sex ratio this year. Female to female to female. Yep, that one's a female. It's a little piece of skin in there, because it's starting to shed in my hand, as you can see right there. So I'm going to get that off for it. So yeah, it's going to shed out really soon. <laughs> uh, but that one's a little female. So all of them are males, except for that one. Put those back. Now these two I want to show you individually because I, I think I know what we got, but I'm still not real, real sure. I think this one, going back and looking at when we originally got the mother, uh, is what I kind of had to do on this. And I think this, based on what I'm seeing there, is likely a pastel freeway. Uh, there's likely no Mardi Gras in this, no inchy in other words. And I think it's only one copy of pastel. So its head is extremely blushed. Very, very white, awesome pattern. 
almost that head almost makes you think super pastel. However, comparing her to her mom, which is a known pastel freeway, he looks almost like her. So really, really kind of cool. This is an awesome snake. Uh, I love this snake. But knowing it's just like mom, I'm going to put it back. However, this one here, we believe this one also has pastel based on the head. But based on the difference in pattern and that difference in color, I think we might have our Mardi Gras pastel here. Uh, again, I'm not 100% sure, which isn't going to matter much right now. We'll have some time to figure it out as it grows. Because even though this one has got penises, I plan on holding it back. So Kurt and I kind of talked for a little off camera, and we made our decision on what we were going to keep. I do let him have a say in that sometimes. Uh, <laughs> actually, anytime he wants to. And on this clutch, I, I definitely wanted his input because we are talking about keeping a male. So this one is going to be staying with us here at facility. It will never be made available. Well, I shouldn't say never. I don't plan on making it available. But you can just really kind of, now you're going to run. As it darkens up, which it will, you'll see how much pattern is down here in the sides. And it kind of bleeds all the way down in. And it's got the yellow coming up there. I think that's where we're seeing that inchy influence that's kind of trying to make it a much heavier pattern. Um, trying to band that across, you know, which in, in more color, which we're going to see in this one too. Come here, buddy. Thank you. Down through there. But the pastels cleaning up that color so much. That's why I think you got both the same things. And you have the head stamps going on. The heads look fairly similar, other than this one's being much more blushed out. And again, I think that's where you're seeing that Mardi Gras come into play. So really cool. This will be our first ever one of those. Uh, if it is. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to keep this one. We're going to end up parting with the rest of these. How did I feel about this clutch? That's one thing we really haven't talked about when we've done these videos is we're like, hey, this was a clutch we have, blah, 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 blah. Am I happy with it? Well, am I happy with the fact that I got five males, one female? Hell no, I'm not. We have, like I say, we've killed our sex odds, but the two most anticipated clutches we've had this year so far, excuse me, we've been heavy male, low on female. So, like I say, it all works out in the end. However, I'm definitely happy with results. We got just what you would expect, half and half, on the Ivory Versa Freeway, which is awesome. Uh, we discovered we had that pastel hiding in there, which is also really cool. You can almost see this one's trying to get like a little ringer down in there. That's even neater, so definitely going to be the keeper there. Uh, so we, we're finding out more things that we had. It was a better clutch than we even anticipated. And, you know, I mean, there is a possibility of two holdbacks out of this clutch. Kurt and I talk about if we want to keep the one female as well. Probably won't because I can recreate that if I really want to. And I probably will just recreate it. But, um, man, yeah, I'm still happy. Because even though I'm not going to get to keep the female I was wanting to keep, I'm going to keep a male to do more things like maybe make some super asphalts and whatnot down the road, which would be really awesome because this male back to the mother, which we can do, um, think about what that would create. I mean, I've got <laughs> an asphalt yellow belly to an asphalt yellow belly. I would create freeways. I would create ivories and I would create super asphalt. I wouldn't have to play the what is it game. And along with it being a pastel inchy to a pastel, you're going to have the Mardi Gras and the super pastels and all of that stuff possibly in there. So when I keep this dad, there's a reason, right? I can expand on what I'm creating. So yeah, I'm really, really happy. And on the side note, a clutch like this, you know, we talked earlier when we showed off all those bananas about how important it is to have some of those basic genes and how that's going to bring in customers that's going to do this well once you're established it's also nice to have some of this i mean you start looking at this clutch and looking on morph market and pricing it out even with it being male heavy you're going to see that this is a clutch even putting one in my pocket and only having five snakes to sell is can generate a good amount of funds this can generate a new rack all by itself this can generate you know paying the mortgage here for three months off of this one clutch so it can do a lot of things so yes i'm happy and that may sound like oh you're only in it for the money but let's think if the money doesn't come in i can't have the snakes right so if i'm i i do have to be somewhat money conscious and these will be i think fairly easy to sell because they just look bitching kurt anything you want to add no all right guys i'm gonna hop over here slide over to patreon pull the ones out that uh, we're going to set up and leave the other two in here to shed, and we will catch you all next time.